being motivated is more about the positive feedback you loop you have when you uh, study like if you study something well and then you perform good on a test then you need then you get a positive feedback loop that yes uh, i studying more gets me somewhere also i guess then you should also have to work with the motivation of two types like if it's you're trying to focus on external motivation that motivation comes externally from external factors then that's a bit more risky because uh, what often happens is that those factors sometimes also can demotivate you what you often have to look for motivation is something which comes inside of you something which continuously inspires you ki that i have to study this or i have to learn this or i have to perform this I guess there wasn't actually any well-defined uh, daily routine like this to this I'll do this or this particular time. What more or less was I was relatively a frequent school goer. So in the during the day, obviously there was school, and then on certain days there might be coaching. At other times, it was more often it was about just uh, being in ta- touch or keeping in pace with whatever kind uh, of study material that is going on in the particular school or in the particular coaching. Just keeping up with that, practicing questions related to that, and maybe doing your own revision side by side. in case that there's a lot of work to be catch up with then obviously you spend more hours on it or in case if there's a lesser amount of work then you spend relatively less hours or maybe try to figure out what you want to do on yourself something that you personally find is uh, lagging behind or something that you weak or you try to catch on it's not a very well defined study routine because obviously something or the other tends to come up and you can't obviously put that number of fixed hours or something like that and i guess hours is a quantitative measure of something which i guess studying for je is much more qualitative in nature that uh, what kind of studying you're doing or um, whatever time you put into it is that timing utilized efficiently or are you in i guess hindi speak mar mar ke pad rahe ho or are you doing something uh, in, in your laser focus when even in a lesser amount of time you're able to extract a lot of output from that so i guess studying should be measured more in terms of the output that you have learned or the amount of stuff that you are able to do rather than being measured quantitatively in the number of hours it's much more about the quality study period you get than rather over the quantity so for me i didn't study like those uh, great number 11 12 or whatsoever never my class but i tried that whatever time i used to study it should be a quality time in case i know ki uh, right now i'm not in a good st- frame of mind to study and if i can't really control over that then for once i guess i let it go and try to maybe uh, do something else try to relax or try to clear my mind uh, so that when i do get back into my normal frame of mind i'm uh, i can just uh, remove everything from my head and focus on what's on the pen and paper on solving this particular question or understanding this particular concept or maybe learning this particular equation in chemistry so probably i guess my answer to that would be sort of not a very definite number but more over the fact that whatever number you decide whatever time you decide to study make sure that you to get it's it's good you're getting a good output out of it it shouldn't be extremely haphazard so for me a lot of last minute preparation was Uh, I used to make a sort of a list of some things that I know I can't learn at this point because I'll probably forget about it. But probably a couple of days before exam, these are the stuff that I should remember or commit to my short term memory, so that on that particular D day or whatever, that you are able to, uh, you don't have to worry that I have forgotten this already. So I guess last minute preparation topics for me was maybe those really really long equations that you can't remember or you decided that I'll put up for the last day, or those kind of weird chemistry formulas or just certain random statistics that you think that. I can't commit to my memory right now because the, I have other things. But maybe at the last day, just make a list of all those stuff that uh, you want to do uh, in the last couple of days before the preparation. Or in the last couple of days, on the J days, you just want your uh, actual paper to go a lot more mechanical, a lot more practiced, rather than maybe trying out something new or experimenting. Revise a lot of uh, uh, inorganic chemistry. All those S block, P block, or the periodic table, or the elements, that kind of stuff. Or maybe in maths, there were a couple of very long sigma formulas, or a couple of things in binomial theorem, which I was like, I can't always commit this to my memory. About mathematics, maybe uh, conic sections is one of those topics which contains a gazillion formulas, and so maybe it's not convenient to remember all of them. Okay, then. at that point only a few of them you end up remembering because of the kind of questions that they come they're more common but a few more um, i guess uh, uh, weirder ones or slightly uh, more uh, 
less used ones you might end up revising on the last stage itself because that's what i did conic sections was one of my relatively weaker topics because again it was like a lot of formulas pure memorization so that was one of the things that i did look at the last day that just uh, see all those formulas even for physics you can say a part a certain chapters like properties of matter uh, uh pom or the or maybe even uh, kinetic theory of gases these have a collection of little bit vaguer formulas that are not used as often in practice but in on j day they you never know that they might actually ask a question from that and at that point you can't say that this had a lesser probability i guess that would be point one of things thing that i wasn't really active on social media or during my preparation days i mean i was one of those people who had never been on social media i had been on facebook and whatsapp and all those things during my uh, before uh, like maybe in 9 10 or something like that but uh, i guess i kind of avoided that in on my preparation days it depends person on person a lot of people feel that it's one of their ways to you know uh, chill out or uh, to de stress but for me social media was never that kind of an attachment or that kind of a outlet so it was easy for me to let go i think i i was on whatsapp but then again it was mostly because a lot of uh, important groups you have like maybe your even your coaching group that might be on whatsapp it was more to a limited extent uh i guess my main advice to this year's aspirants would be to not burn yourself out because a lot of people they burn themselves out while coming into iit and then they think that uh, sort of that their work is done which is not entirely true even in iit you'll probably have to work uh, like that almost as hard as you did during your coaching times and in iit there'll be going to be a lot more distractions to be prepared that this is not just a two year right race there is a there is going to be a competitive environment even beyond this so you have to figure out what kind of person you are if you are kind of person who will take a long time but just remember uh, that but just understand it forever that your understanding is permanent then invest that kind of time even if you think that you might get lag behind invest that kind of time 2 years is enough to actually cover on uh, everything even if you go at a relatively slower pace so but if you are some kind of person who has this tendency that you'll understand something quickly and then forget then uh, maybe uh, then you have to realize that that's part of you and right now you might be able to understand something but you may have to take time out in the future to do it and that's okay because i was that uh, that kind of person i would understand something and then maybe forget about it in a later extent or uh, and i may need to revisit that some certain something and i guess it's in a certain way uh, your uh, j preparation time is in in a very weird sense a kind of self discovery too you tend to figure out about a lot about yourself that what your kind of frame of mind you work best in because it's just 2 years of a lot of studying so you figure out a lot of things about yourself that that how are you in terms of academia what kind of focus you discover that how much focus you can be towards something and the kind of focus that you put towards your j in doing your j life the single mindedness about it about achieving that one goal cherish that because uh, it's much more difficult to have that same kind of focus later in life and sometimes uh, you'd look back at that particular time in nostalgia that i was able to uh, you you surprise yourself that how was i able to do that much in that much limited time with such sheer minded focus and i guess that's a much more uh, deeper question on the surface on the surface i would say probably one line answer is yes obviously i'm happy here but uh, it depends on time to time on certain days uh, i do get this nostalgia for the old times but on other the other days you realize that iit life has its very own kehte uh, peaks and now i'm not even talking about the kind of uh, placements or what the future that iit gives you but just the iit life in itself has a certain kind of flavor to it the hostel enthusiasm that you get or the love for the hostel or just the fact that you are among the probably the most brilliant people kehte hain uh, brilliant people in this country that iit makes you realize that you are the best of the best but there are a lot of people there is a lot more to learn right now there is a more not more from lot more kind of people to learn from there is a lot more to explore and most of all the iit campus what it offers offers you i guess can be referred in terms of growth a lot of people uh, i guess in generic the dreams of iit they have is about those big numbered uh, one crore packages that come on uh, the news but uh, iit to me is much more beyond that iit to me again like i refer is about the opportunities that it provides you and the learning and the kind of friends that you make or the hostel life or the culture that you enjoy here just the sheer amount of people you know and uh, the people they know and the kind of network you build up not in only in terms of alumni i guess that does eventually go into the alumni network but just a lot of people that you meet meet 
and a lot of people who are there to just inspire you by what they do every single day. Like there's a particular senior who has this uh, B Tech project submission day the next next night, but the next day. But even at night, even at around 11 o'clock, he's painting a mural in the wall because that's what makes him happy. I guess that's uh, actually a very interesting question. And like you said, does it reduce the magnitude of the dreams or make does it make the dreams bigger? It's true in both sense. Uh, people in, when you they come to IIT, the standard perception. Um, the standard perception, I guess, or the perception that's shared among a lot of coaching issues a lot of, by a lot of people is that you'll get those big figure jobs or you'll get the big placements or big internships or you go study abroad. To a large extent, IIT does give that, but a lot of times it is much more hyped and it much more depends on the person itself. So I guess when you come into IIT, maybe uh, the magnitude of those dreams do get uh, kind of diminished. But in other extent, the kind of opportunities that provides the hackathons that you can indulge in or the competitions that you can be or maybe if, if you get into drama, you might be op uh, offered uh, an opportunity to see a, a play first and an exclusive thing. So there are a lot of other dreams that IIT incites in a particular person. There are, there are dreams that you realize that maybe not, uh, doing an MS is not what you do want to do, but maybe just okay. IIT might uh, to its NSS or to its NSS or the National Service scheme might inspire you to realize that social service is something that you're very much interested in, and that's what you dream of doing. Maybe social entrepreneurship or something like that. So it does make your dreams bigger, but just by it makes your dreams bigger. Just showing that what all possibilities you have and what all things you can do. In IIT lingo, there's something called um, machana. Machana means that it's excelling in a particular way of life. So uh, I guess the dreams that you use is that all the possibilities ki jisme tum macha sakte ho. Yeah, dreams do get bigger in IIT, but what the, actually the correct way to put it is dreams get much more broader in IIT. They off, it offers a unique perspective about all the different things that you can do, and then you have to make your choice yourself. Or you, it's much more difficult to get a run and do every single thing because you know you end up being a jack of all trades, master of none. But it just get a, it allows you to explore and just see that what all the vast array of possibilities you have in front of you. And then if you yourself want to go back and pick that you decide that maybe the uh, IIT, IIM, and the standard 1.5 CR job is for you, then you have no regrets about it because you knew that you saw all the things that was possible, and then you chose on that. But if you maybe you want to do social entrepreneurship or tech entrepreneurship, or maybe you want to realize that uh, you like drama and you maybe want to work on a high extent on that, or maybe you might be one of some person who wants to open a startup related to art or something like that, then IIT offers you a platform for all of that. It just shows you that that can be done, and that if you want to do it, if you want, if you have that in your sight, that you can actually achieve it. Because the people out here who are uh, every single day getting that done.